Alright, this is CPU Kid from CPUKid.org, and this is going to be my video of my thoughts on the Chrome operating system. Um, I'm going to try to demonstrate this for you, but it might be kind of difficult, so just bear with me here. So I figured the easiest way to show you guys, try to demonstrate this, would be to use Chromium, the Google Chrome equivalent for OS X. So I'm going to launch it here, and as you can see, there, there's Chromium. And this is basically what the operating system is going to look like. So I'm going to full screen this. It's one thing OS X really needs is like a full screen option. But anyway, so this is going to be basically the user interface. And pretend up here where these buttons are up here, there'd be kind of like a start menu or kind of like an applications folder. So when you click up here, it's going to have a little drop down like this. And this is where it's going to have the applications. Now first I want to say these aren't going to be installed on the computer. Think of this operating system as purely internet based. If I start up my computer, which they say will take seconds, like it's going to be like, hit the power button, on. So it's going to be really fast getting on the internet and everything. And when you come up to the login screen, you're going to type in your stuff. So I'll go to Google Docs. Now I'm going to log in here. Now pretend this is where I just turned my computer on and this is where I'm signing into my account. Now in the matter of that amount of time I'm gonna have all my documents so I made this um, just for like the purpose of this video basically just like a blank slideshow whatever I can type stuff can't even type my name there we go so under this applications like little button over that's gonna be over here like the little drop down you're gonna have a Twitter application you're gonna have um, a docs application, you're going to have a, pr a presentation application, you're going to have Gmail, which is not going to be a website, it's going to be an application. It's going to be, uh, there's going to be a bunch of other like little applications here. Let's see, leave. And it's going to be, once again, all internet based. So if I log in under someone else's computer that I've never even used before, and they're using Chrome operating system, when I log in, I'm instantly going to have all of my documents. Very cool. And um, like I said, nothing's going to be stored locally, which means on the hard drive. So I'm not going to have these hard drive icons over here. Now I do believe USB was going to USB is going to work. External devices are going to work. Um, as far as how well or what they're going to do, I'm not sure. But there's the only applications that are going to be on this are web based, and the whole operating system is going to have this tab interface up here. So where like the the recently browsed websites are. It's probably going to be your recently opened applications, for instance. So, what do I think of this operating system? I think it's very interesting. Um, Google is definitely taking a step, a big step forward in the computer industry. Um, as far as me installing it and using it every day as my primary operating system, I don't see it happening because I don't trust the cloud yet. I don't believe that all your files need to be stored on the internet where hackers can access them, even though Google will probably make it very hard to access them anything is possible so um, for instance say I have a new document that's a new page <laughs> I thought that okay so I'll, I'll create a new document here so say I type out I can't even type today credit card number social security number You know, so not saying that someone would type that out, but if someone has important like information on there, someone could theoretically access that since everything's on the internet. You know, and as far as storing music, your music would be on the cloud as well. So if you have pictures or music or whatever, they'd be stored on say like a Google account or something. So like I said, I wouldn't use this operating system as my primary operating system, but I would love to definitely get it and install it and play around with it. And um, from a demonstration video, they do have stuff that's kind of like spaces, or kind of like um, yes, but that's what I meant to hit, not expose spaces, where you can ch you can have windows and have an application open here, you can have one open over here, and so on and so forth. So they do take ideas from OS X from Linux, but um, they're integrated very nicely from what I saw from the video. So this is just kind of my overview, I guess, of the uh, Chrome operating system. They do have pre-alpha builds and um, you could try to install it if you wanted to but really it doesn't it's pretty pointless right now like that button over here I told you about which is I think the Google Chrome icon here 
it looks just like that. That doesn't even work. The button's there, but it doesn't do anything. So you don't have out, like any access to any of those applications. So it's really just kind of a proof of concept right now. But um, it definitely does work, and Google really is developing this. And I would love to get it and play around with it. But for now, um, it's just kind of a cool thing. Something that's kind of cool to think about that computers are to the point now where local storage is so 1986 and they want everything in the clouds now. So, I don't know. Maybe one day where the internet's more secure and you know stuff like that, maybe more people would switch. But like I said, most people like me aren't going to use it as a primary operating system. They'll stick with OS X or Windows. Um, but most people would definitely love to use it, but not as their main operating system. So what do you guys think? Do you think that it's a good idea? Do you think you'll use it a lot? Do you think you won't use it? Do you think it's stupid? What do you guys think? Let me know. Um, check out cpukid.org. My Twitter is twitter.com slash cpukid. If you have any questions or video requests or, blah, 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 or pretty much anything, no, go ahead. So this is CPU Kid from cpukid.org, and I'll see you in my next video.